boys and girls. I am so glad that you joined me to hear the Bible story today. The Bible story comes from the Bible, God's true word. We know that all the stories and words in there are true. Well, the first thing I want to do is something really fun. One of my favorite finger plays about pigs. Two mother pigs lived in a pen. Each had four babies. That makes 10. These four babies were black and white. These four babies were black as night. All eight babies loved to play. They rolled and they rolled in the mud all day. And then at night with their mothers, they curled up tight and they squealed and they squealed with all their might. Oh, that one's a lot of fun. Do you know what else I like? I like to sing praises to God. And I hope that you'll join me because we're going to sing, We Thank You, Loving Father. And Loving Father, did you know that we can call God Father? He's our Heavenly Father, and He loves us very much. Let's sing that one together. We thank you, loving Father, for all your love today, for sending Christ the Savior to take our sins away. Very good. That's right. God sent Jesus to take our sins away. Jesus is the way to God for all people. Let's sing it again. We thank you, loving Father, for all your love today. For sending Christ the Savior to take our sins away. Very good. Thanks for singing praises with me. All right, now, can you get your hands and put them together like a book? That's right. The Holy Bible is God's book. Let's open it and see where it tells us of God's love. He loves you. He loves me. All right, it's time for our Bible story, but first, let's talk to God in prayer. Our hands we fold, our heads we bow, so we can talk to God just now. Dear God, Lord, thank you so much for the boys and girls, and Lord, I thank you so much for your true word, the Bible, and for Jesus, who loves us so very much. Lord, give us listening ears for the story today. It's in your name I pray, the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, you can get your Bible ready because when we get to the scripture verse, you'll be able to touch God's true word. Well, the Bible story today starts with a man named Peter. Now, Peter was one of Jesus' disciples. But after Jesus went up to heaven, Peter became the leader of Jesus' friends in Jerusalem. Now, Peter loved Jesus, but Peter also knew that Jesus is the way to God for all people. So Peter knew that he needed to go to another city to tell more people about Jesus. So Peter went to the city of Lydda. Peter had to walk and walk and walk. Lydda was a long way away. Peter got pretty tired before he got to the city of Lydda. But the city of Lydda was on the ocean. So when Peter got there, he could probably smell the salt in the air from the ocean. <laughs> and he probably could feel the ocean breeze on his cheek. It probably felt pretty good. Now Peter enjoyed getting to meet Jesus' friends in Lydda. One man that Peter got to meet was a man named Aeneas. Now, Aeneas was paralyzed. That means that Aeneas couldn't move. He couldn't move his arms. He couldn't move his legs. He couldn't walk. He couldn't sit up in bed or even get out of the bed. Peter knew that even though Jesus was in heaven, that Jesus could still help Aeneas. So Peter said to Aeneas, Christ Jesus heals you. Get up and roll up your mat. And Aeneas did. Aeneas got up. Aeneas could move. Aeneas could walk. Jesus had healed Aeneas. Now people heard what Jesus had done for Aeneas. 
and the Holy Spirit helped people to know that Jesus is God's Son. And the Holy Spirit helped people believe that Jesus died for their sins. And the Holy Spirit helped people know that Jesus is the way to God for all people. Some of Peter's friends said, God has granted repentance that leads to life. That's our Bible verse today from Acts chapter 11, verse 18. Well, in another city, there was a lady named Dorcas. Dorcas loved Jesus, and Dorcas made shirts and coats for people. She made shirts and coats for people that didn't have any. That was one way that Dorcas could show Jesus' love for people. But Dorcas got sick. Dorcas got so sick that she couldn't make clothes for people anymore. Dorcas got sicker and sicker, and then one day, Dorcas died. All of Dorcas's friends were so sad. They sent for Peter to see if Peter could help. So Peter came to Dorcas's house, and when Peter got there, everybody was crying. Everybody was so sad that Dorcas had died. Well, Peter went into the room, and he asked everybody to leave. Now, Peter knew that even though Jesus was in heaven, that Jesus is stronger than death, because Jesus is stronger than anything. So, Peter knelt down and prayed. And when he finished praying, he said, Dorcas, get up. And Dorcas opened her eyes, and Dorcas could get up. Dorcas was alive. Jesus had made Dorcas alive. People everywhere heard what Jesus had done for Dorcas, that Jesus had made Dorcas alive again. And the people, some of the people believed in Jesus because Jesus is the way to God for all people. All right, boys and girls, that was our story today. I hope you had your listening ears on because I'm going to ask you three questions. And I think I might need a helper to ask those three questions. All right, my friend Lenny would like to help. Lenny, are you ready? All right, Lenny, tell the boys and girls hello today. That's right, hi boys and girls. That's right, are you ready to help with some questions? Okay, would you get the first one for us? Okay. Oh, thank you, Lenny. All right, boys and girls. The first one says, what did Jesus do to help Aeneas? Do you remember that Aeneas was the man who couldn't walk? He was paralyzed. What did Jesus do to help Aeneas? Hannah, do you know the answer? Can you tell me? Very good. Everybody tell me, what did Jesus do to help Aeneas? That's right, Jesus healed him. He made him well. He made Aeneas be able to walk. Very good, you were listening. All right, Lenny, we're ready for question number two. Can you get that one? Thank you, Lenny, you're a great helper. All right, question number two. Who is stronger than death or anything? Hmm, Lenny, do you know? Luke, do you know the answer? Let me hear it. All right, everybody tell me, who is stronger than death or anything? That's right, it's Jesus. Jesus is stronger than death or anything. Very good, all right, one more, last one. Lenny, can you get it? Thank you, Lenny. Question number three, who is the way to God for all people? Hmm, who is the way to God for all people? Ethan? Do you know the answer? Everybody tell me, who is the way to God for all people? Do you know, Lenny? Yes, I think I heard you. It's Jesus. Jesus is the way to God for all people. Very good, thank you, Lenny. Well, Lenny, I want you to stay around just for another minute because I need your help. Um, I need your, your help for the Bible verse today. Can you help me? Okay. All right, now is the time to get out your Bibles, and we're going to turn to Acts chapter 11, verse 18. 
Oh, Lenny's touching God's true word. He found it right there where I marked it in my Bible. Can you touch God's true word with your finger? All right. And our Bible verse says, remember it was in our story today. Our Bible verse is Acts 11, 18, and it says, God has granted repentance that leads to life. Okay, Lenny, this is where I need your help because it's kind of tricky. It's got some big words in it. All right, Lenny, do you know it says God has granted. What does granted mean? Do you know? Will you tell me? That's right. Granted is like give. So God has given. That's what that one means. Thank you, Lenny. All right, Lenny, there's another big word. God has granted repentance. Repentance. Do you know that one? You do? Would you tell me that one? What does repentance mean? Very good, Lenny. Repentance means being sorry for our sins. So God has granted repentance that leads to life. Acts 11, verse 18. Wow, Lenny, you did a really good job of helping us with those big words. Now I need some help singing our Bible verse. Let's see if we can sing it to the tune of Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Let's hum it just a little bit first. That's right. Now I think we can sing it. Let's sing it. God has granted repentance that leads to life. Acts 11, 18. Very good. Very good, boys and girls. Let's sing it one more time so I can hear you. Lenny, did you hear him singing a little bit? Okay, let's see if we can do it again now that we know it. God has granted repentance that leads to life. Acts 11, 18. Wow, I heard him that time. Did you hear him, Lenny? Very good. Very good, boys and girls. Thank you so much for being here and listening to God's true word, our story in the Bible today. All right, Lenny, we need to say goodbye to the boys and girls for now. Ready? All right. Bye-bye, boys and girls.